This program is brought to you by South Point Patia. The night is finally here, the votes are all in. It's the Expat Entrepreneur Awards and it's the very first time that this has happened in Bangkok. Now, so we're gonna go inside and see just who the winners are. It was the first time companies established in Thailand by the country's expatriate community were truly recognized for their creativity, ingenuity, excellence and proven success. The Expat Entrepreneur Awards were created by Bangkok's networking community group Be Now and the Big Chili magazine, whose founder Colin Hastings is a long-term expat himself. I'm very, very relieved and very happy it worked far better than um, we'd even hoped. So yes, I'm ecstatic. I'm relieved, as I say, but I'm very happy with the end result. It's been brilliant, brilliant evening. And uh, I'd like to thank everybody, especially the, the people who were, you know, participated, uh, the small companies that participated. Big thanks to all those guys. An amazing contribution to Thailand. Fantastic, should be recognized, which tonight we actually did. So yes, thank you. We're ecstatic for the winners and they, it's just lovely to recognize everyone who's contributed to the Thai economy. Yeah, we're really happy. We've just been so busy today that, you know, in the course of working that I kind of lost my voice, I'm sorry. That's okay. Now, it's been, I, I've been living here in, in Thailand for quite some time. This is the first awards of its kind. Yes, it is. Yeah, yeah, it is. It's a great, it's a great thing to do. I had people come to me and said, you know, it's about time when we announced it. So it's great. I'm so glad that we, we put it on. And, and just the look on everybody's faces on that stage. So happy. So happy. I'm so glad we could put it on for them. There were hundreds of entries, and the scope of talent and industry was as diverse as the expats themselves. Entries included Bangkok's oldest jazz club, Check In 99, run by Australian Chris Cato Smith. Check In 99 uh, is an original Bangkok cabaret bar built in 1957. It's the oldest club and nightclub in Bangkok. Also nominated, Ido Burger and his unique tea and fruits. I was walking in the markets of Bangkok and I was astonished by the huge variety of fruits. There was Dennis Hart and the Tuk Tuk factory. And uh, we make, uh, we produce um, electric Tuk Tuks here in Samukhakan. Daniel Fraser and the dynamic team from the Smiling Albino Travel Company. So we do adventure, luxury and community style travel all through Thailand, Cambodia, Vietnam, Nepal, Laos and Myanmar and it's going very well. Richard Cohen and the fitness team behind The Lab. Um, I've always been a fitness junkie ever since I was a kid. Um, I've always been super competitive and trying to be the best I can be in uh, everything I do in, in life. Um, I love helping people, I love seeing people grow, um, I love watching people gain more confidence. The hard-working Eileen Denning, creator of Patty's famous Yorkie's Pies. My company produces English sausage, dry cured bacon, uh, black pudding, gammons, and a variety of pies and pasties. We use only top quality ingredients in all of our recipes, and our recipes have been in the family now for about 40, 45 years. 
long-term expat Jeff Thompson and his unique leather goods. And I have basically loved leather for as long as I can remember. Uh, I made my first pair of moccasins when I was 13 years old. <laughs> In media, nominations included Capital Television and its expat-focused TV programs. In the end, it all comes down to loving what you do, and we just can't imagine doing anything else. <laughs> Go away! <laughs> also nominated, Case Coopers from Town and Country Property in Pattaya, and the creator of the monthly Movers and Shakers networking events. I'm not running my business the traditional way. It just doesn't make sense to me. I'm proactive. Five years ago, I started Movers and Shakers Corporate Network in Thailand. It helped me to grow my business, but not only mine, it helped thousands of others. We raised over 4 million baht for charities. With 16 winners to be selected, it was a tough decision for the judges. The first Expat Entrepreneur Awards was an outstanding success. And although not everyone walked away with the prize, the general consensus was that everyone was a winner on this night. Well, it's always nice to get an award yourself, but I think the recognition itself is, is to do with the fact that these things are actually in the, in the spotlight, you know, to, to actually put some sort of recognition to, to the hard work that goes on in, in Thailand and Bangkok to, to those few that actually make a difference on these things. So, yeah, it's great. Not only did everyone have a good time, but money and awareness was raised for the charity Operation Smile. Here is the full list of winners. You can visit this Facebook page for more information or grab a copy of Big Chili magazine. You're watching Destination Thailand. You're watching Destination Thailand. Now the who's who of Thailand's Dutch expat community has turned out in force tonight for the annual Netherlands Business Awards. Now business between the Thais and the Dutch actually goes back hundreds of years. But tonight some modern companies are going to be awarded in several fields. So let's go and join in. Thailand's diverse expat community includes around 10,000 registered citizens of the Netherlands. The Dutch have had a long history trading with Thailand and their business community is one of the most dynamic in the kingdom. It's not surprising then that the Netherlands Thai Chamber of Commerce Business Awards Night is one of the biggest events on the local Dutch calendar. The 16th NTCC Business Awards took place at Bangkok's Grand Hyatt Erawan and focused on a James Bond theme. Dutch exports uh, to Thailand uh, started in 1604, which is, well, 400 plus years, and you can still find remnants uh, of that history. But very interestingly, the business model that we used at the time, which is using Thailand as a hub for regional trade, is more or less being reinvented nowadays. So, globalization, old style, but with a new sort of format uh, and still increasing in uh, magnitude and size. Ambassador, obviously a very prestigious night for the Netherlands community here in Thailand. Absolutely, because it seems like a party and of course it is also a party but it's also a series of events because we have several awards and behind that overall award system is a very serious scrutiny but it's also serious business because we have about 200 
Dutch companies operating in or from Thailand and finding candidates for the winner of the awards is extremely serious. I mean, some amazing names from big companies, some very innovative small companies. Right. So you've got a very interesting mix there, I think. Absolutely. And I think that's quite particular for the Netherlands that we are very good at blending. And they always say about the Dutch that we are very exportable. And that's, I think, what you see around you here tonight. More than 500 people were on hand for a gala evening of music and entertainment, including some 007 action. <laughs> The guest speaker fit the mould of mystery and intrigue. Harlan Wolf was once a private investigator. Today he prefers to write, and his bestseller novel Bangkok Rules has been sold for adaptation to a movie. A private investigator, how did you get into that? Oh, well, that's the question everybody always asks. By accident, like, uh, like everything else. Um, how did I get into it? I spoke Thai, I knew the streets pretty well, I had an ability to get things done, so people kept coming to me when they had problems, so it just evolved. What's your ultimate aim now? You know, you've given up the private investigating, you're still writing? I'm still writing. My ultimate aim is to get up in the morning, um, go to the office, which will be above the jazz bar, um, write for five or six hours, come down at lunchtime and check out the kitchen and maybe work on a new recipe with the cooks for, the, for that night's special board. Go home, sit by the pool and read a book, and then um, take a nap and uh, seven o'clock the party begins. There were four major awards up for grabs, and these were judged on some tough criteria. We give awards to some of our uh, finest companies for the way uh, they conduct their business and for their contribution to, to Thai society. And so for that we conduct interviews, companies can apply for an award, and then we shortlist them and we, that is an outside uh, uh, jury, so it's not an intimate chamber uh, uh, thing, it's really a professional uh, jury and they visit all the shortlisted companies. And companies are judged on five important criteria, that's innovation, sustainability, uh, human resource development, uh, Dutch-Thai relations and overall business uh, success. Then it was time for the winners to be announced. The Most Valuable Employee Award went to Chan Chai Mak Pan Churin Kit, a long-serving engineer with Unilever. Kun Chan Chai, tell me a little bit about your award tonight. Best Valuable Employee, is that right? Yep. So what does this mean for you tonight to win this award? Uh, it is a great honor for my life and my family. And I would like to say that this award it, uh, I cannot, only me, I cannot make it. It is the uh, reward for the factory team, yeah. It's always a team effort, isn't it, really? You know, that's important. It is the teamwork and the spirit of the team that make me achieve within the short period. The best SME company went to Stamex Technology, which offers solutions to the starch industry. What does this award mean for you? Oh, a lot, because it's a lot of achievements. You know, we are now almost uh, 10 years here in Thailand, so we are very proud to uh, receive this uh, prize. Do you think the awards here are quite a benchmark for the industry, particularly for Dutch companies? Yeah, I think it is, yeah, because, uh, you know, um, there are a lot of Dutch companies here in Thailand who do similar kind of business, so, so we are very honored to get this prize. But on the other hand, we also also work together, so uh, yes, oh, we're very proud of it, yeah. Best Tourism Company was awarded to Kiri Travel, which focuses on inbound tours for Dutch travellers. Obviously it's a very competitive industry, so what is it that makes a company stand out in this business? Um, taking the team serious, uh, I think it's a team effort, very much so in, uh, in tourism, it, it always is, it's a people's business. Um, so you, you have the team first and, and then uh, you understand uh, the, the values of the company, what we're doing and that's what brings success. 
and the best multinational company went to NXP Semiconductors. We have four categories uh, tonight, but let me just uh, highlight the multinational company uh, award, which tonight will be given to a company called NXP Semiconductors. It is a company, it's former uh, Philips Semiconductors. It has almost 4,000 people in its uh, assembly plant in Laxi. You see it next, uh, next to um, Don Meung uh, Airport. Um, it, the company had its IPO in 2010. Share price has gone through the roof by then. But that's global, and the Bangkok side produces 35% of its global uh, sales volume, and it, uh, uh, it has become the competence center within the group in terms of ultra-thin chips. And these are the super-thin chips that go into the uh, thick page of your uh, passport. How exciting is it for the company to win this award? Uh, we are very excited because uh, it's, we have been 40 years in Thailand, and I think it's, it's a great... Uh, appreciation to our employees actually to get this recognition. Um, we celebrated our 40 years. We had a difficult time behind us and we are extremely successful today. So this is like you know the icing on the cake of, uh, yes. of 40 years in Thailand. Special awards were handed out to several other companies including Indorama Ventures, the makers of PET plastic and the biggest Thailand based investor into the Netherlands. It's fantastic to be able to say that there are people out there that appreciate what we do and we believe that this is just you know, a small thanks from the Netherlands Chamber of Commerce and saying that okay we've done a reasonable job in the Netherlands and I'm, I'm very happy to say that. It's pretty exciting for your team too, obviously you've got a, I think the biggest Thai investor in the Netherlands I heard tonight. Yes, very much and not only that, we are also expanding quite a lot in the Netherlands, especially our plants in North Rotterdam and it's Pete's. We are in Rotterdam, the expansion is going on in a big way, so we are very proud of and it's been coming in time, so it looks like that we are doing the right work in the right direction. Besides the recognition of excellence, the awards night is also a great excuse for the Dutch community to join forces and celebrate their longevity in the land of smiles. You're watching Destination Thailand. You're watching Destination Thailand. This year's AFL Grand Final can well be described as a promoter's dream, with the top two sides, Hawthorne and Sydney, to battle out what promises to be an enthralling contest. In fact, it's the biggest gathering outside of Australia to support the AFL Grand Final. We're here at the Royal Orchid Sheraton, right here in Bangkok. Now, I hear you're uh, backing the Hawks. A little each way, yes. Yeah? Oh, I'm swans Silly. all the way, mate. Silly? You think? You think I've lost my money already, right? You've lost your money already. Well, man. we'll see. Never count your chickens. <laughs> so, Renee, big day today, huh? Awesome day today, very exciting. We've got over 500 people in the audience, so um, yeah, very, very exciting day. Now I see you're in the colours of the Hawks. I am in colours of the Hawks, but I have a special surprise at lunchtime as well. All right, we'll catch you up and see how things are going then. Absolutely, yeah.
Major sponsors for the day are the Coffee Club. Joining me now from the Coffee Club is James Bradbury. Welcome along, James. Thank you. Thank you. Um, this is your third year's involvement with, with this event? Correct, yeah. It's been three years uh, with Ozcham, um, sponsoring a variety. One of the many natural rock formations here at Pru Prabhat Historic Park. This one is about 10 metres high and you can just imagine Fred Flintstone and Barney Rubble sitting down inside to a lovely Brontosaurus burger. Wilma! So Ambassador Wise, it's a big day today. It is indeed. Now, how important are events like this for the Australian expat community? I think they're very important. There's uh, Aussie Rules Grand Finals, are big events in Australia, and it's great that Australians living outside uh, have a chance to come together like this. And because we have a big community here in Thailand, we can have a terrific event every year. Austin puts on a terrific event. Now, it's always good fun. Now, one of the things I, I notice is that um, it's one of the biggest gatherings outside of Australia of Aussie expats. Yeah, so I think a, a lot of um, Aussie rural supporters have come to Bangkok. Must indicate perhaps that, uh, well, our code is becoming very national, but perhaps there's a concentration of Australians from the southern states uh, in Bangkok to draw such a big crowd each year. Now it's not so going so well for Sydney, which is my team, huh? No, you must be, anyway, hoping for a big turnaround at, in the second half, are you? Indeed I am. Thank you very much for your time. Oh, my pleasure. Swans aren't playing well, the Hawks have gone ahead. I'm not happy. I'm not happy with Darren. One of my favourite things about the AFL Grand Final here in Bangkok is Aussie pies. Now I found Lady Pie back here in the kitchen with a whole pile of pies. Your pies are fantastic, thank you. Oh, pleasure, pleasure. And here we have Aussie pies again for the AFL 2014. Uh, you've been making the pies for the AFL Grand Final for a few years now, huh? For six years. And what? how do you think the AFL is as an event for expats in Bangkok? It's huge. You know, it's probably the major event of Bangkok, apart from the Melbourne Cup. Okay. And your pies? Fantastic. So thank you very much. I found a whole pile of them here. Yeah, thank Great. You. <laughs> Uh, firstly, up your jumper, Billy. I said the Hawks would win. The only thing I got wrong was the winning margin. Joining me now are two very happy Hawthorne supporters, Eva and Michelle. Go Guys, Hawkers! 
where are you from, guys? Ayutthaya. Oh, you. So you're living in Thailand? Yes. yes. You've you've travelled from Ayutthaya today just to be here. Absolutely. Yes, we've left the elephants to come here to be at the football. Fantastic. Thank you for your support. Um, what what have, what have your impressions been of the day? It's been fantastic. Love the venue. The food's been extraordinary, and the game has been the best game ever. What? The only thing missing is elephants. Sorry, you need elephants here. <laughs> we d- you probably don't have to wander too far outside to, to find them. No, Although no. that's outlawed these days, isn't Next it? Year is, is it not? Bring elephants, clean it up for the celebration. We could do that. We do that. Now, Norm Smith medalist. Oh. At this stage, because well, Langford mm. was good, he was, and the blonde, the umpire's Roughhead, been great all season. Mitchell, Mitchell, Roughhead's been great all season. Oh, uh, there's been a lot of them, they've been great today. Uh, look, I don't know, Rioli was only a little bit there, wasn't but he, a couple of key interceptions. Um, it's been a huge success today, guys. Thank you very much for joining in the uh, the flavor of the day, and congratulations, go horse, go hawker. Well, thanks, Darren. As you can see, I've changed sides now. But, Rena, you've uh, got the wrong outfit on for this part of the world. I got the order completely wrong. Absolutely. I'm so embarrassed by it. And now I've got to go back and change again. So, although I think it's going to be a battle to get the headpiece off you. So, I look good, don't I? You look fabulous. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> now, it's been a very uh, successful event. A lot of happy people, I see. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, every, you know, great food, great wine, great spirit. Um, look, you know, it's all the greatest uh, high scoring game you know and competitive game at the end of the day but everybody's with friends and family and enjoying themselves and you know great prizes on offer so you can't complain about that you have to be happy and there's always next year thank you very much absolutely yeah thank you so as my dearly departed grandmother said never wise to count your chickens before they hatch i think i mentioned that to billy uh, prior to the game and Billy is clearly in shock his hair has changed color as you'll see um, Billy yeah uh, I'm not real happy it was a great day but uh, you know good luck to the Hawks a um, bit of luck next year yeah yeah as always next year that winds it up here from the AFL extravaganza thanks to the coffee club and many other generous sponsors Well, thanks to Ostcham, the Australian Thai Chamber of Commerce, the Australian community has one of the best balls in Bangkok. Tonight, the theme is the Enchanted Forest. And as you can see, everyone's got into the spirit of the evening. Welcome to Thailand uh, and great to see that your first event is the Australian Ball. Look, it's a great pleasure after only being here for two weeks to be able to attend the Ostcham Ball. It's a, it's a wonderful evening and it represents the great relationship which exists between uh, Australia and Thailand. Fantastic to see the sponsors here with you tonight. Obviously, it's always a great event, isn't it, for the Ostcham Ball? Yeah, it's actually our first time for Emirates to be part of it, which is a pleasure to actually announce officially our partnership with Qantas so to be part of the Australian community that's a good way to do it. And obviously Qantas uh, for all the Aussies very familiar name and great to see you still involved with the Australian uh, ball here. That's, that's right I mean it's been a while actually but it, yeah. it's good to be involved uh, with the Australian and especially involved with uh, Kun Jabber and Emirates so we've got this uh, fantastic partnership to Australia and New Zealand but also the UK and uh, it's, I think it's terrific. So we'll, we'll hopefully do lots of things in the future, right, Jabal? <laughs> Brilliant. Well, obviously it's the Enchanted Forest tonight. So, uh, so how are you going to participate into that theme this evening? That's a hard. Well, I'm going to do it very low key. <laughs> oh, absolutely. I join you with that low key <laughs> effort, Paul. I, I think the enchanted. I think the way we're dressed is. Uh, I think. Uh, en- enchanted forest. A lot of people have dressed up tonight, and they look fantastic. Yeah. Uh, for some of us, it's 
best to be a little more low key. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's enchanting to see all of you here this evening, and thanks and enjoy the evening. It's going to be a wonderful night. It's so, always a great night. Great. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Pleasure, Mike. Thank you. <laughs> Don't miss these events on the Big Chili calendar. On Sunday, November 16th, the River Jazz Festival 4 will light up Asia Tea on the Chao Preya Riverfront. The event features Kenny G along with the Mahidon University Band and much more. Tickets are available at ThaiTicketMajor.com. For more information, visit the Big Chili magazine. Visit us on Facebook and tell us what you like. Or check out our website at www.destinationthailand.tv. This program was brought to you by South Point Patia.